The calendar feature is one of the most essential components of JT Learn. It's the way you're going to communicate with students about upcoming dates, important reminders, and resources for their assignments. Whether the student's in class or whether they're homebound or out sick, they'll know by going to the calendar they can find what's expected of them, the resources for that, and where to turn them in. The calendar by default is located on the left-hand rail under the list heading, but you can also embed this calendar on your main course page, like I have here. The calendar itself essentially will display in the month view, and as you can see, these green boxes indicate that I have an assignment in this location. So on September 18th for this example at 7:10 a.m., I know that the JT Learn and Platform Technologies course is going to meet at Central. If I want to add a new event to this calendar, I can hover over the date on the calendar and click Add, or click on the date itself, come up to the Events heading, and click New Event. I'll give this new event a title, such as Module 1 Agenda. And for the start date, I do want 918, but I don't want to specify a time, so I'll choose All Day Event. Not sure why that's located far below the dates, but that's where this checkbox is in this interface. By making it an all-day event, it removes the time constraints and it will show much nicer on the calendar for me. In the description box, I'll place the day's agenda and any resources or links that I want people to access. I click Save, and now this item shows up on the calendar. Anyone in this course now can click on the item and review the day's agenda, access any resources, and get access to the links. That's all there is to basic calendar use on JT Learn. It is a required feature of JT Learn itself, but teachers find it useful, students find it useful. It's something you'll use every day.